think we were going to leave you behind? Did you think we were going to leave you behind? You're coming with us. We will go see Grandad and Skye. We have a flight to London booked uh, for later on this morning and we are not taking it. We're taking the car. Uh, we're taking the dog. Um, yes, very last minute decision. We decided yesterday that we could not live for three weeks without Holly. So she's coming with us. What do you want to do? Are you going to stay here? Are you going to come with us? You want to come? <laughs> come, Daddy. Oh, All right. Great to see you. <laughs> definitely. Last year, our trip was organised. We knew what we were doing weeks ahead. So we organised ourselves really well and had the car down in Positano so we could walk down to it. Of course, this time we have only literally decided yesterday at lunchtime that we would drive instead of fly and the car is up in Montevideo so, so we're having to climb up with um, all sorts of weird luggage that we wouldn't be bringing if we were flying. We've got a whole bag of mandarins in one of these bags for my dad. Um, a cabbage and two fennels from the garden. As we've left it so late, we actually haven't had the car checked at the mechanic, so we're gonna try and do that now. We also need to go to the vet and get Holly a tapeworm pill that is mandatory to take between 24 and 120 hours before entering the UK. So we need to get that done, otherwise she can't get into the country. And now at the mechanics, so we can give a quick checkup of the car. Hello. We still have no idea what route we're taking. We need to check because there was a predicted big snowfall. No, there was a big snowfall predicted um, in the Milan area last night. We don't actually know if that happened. So we need to check the snow and see what it's like crossing the Alps. Our oh, mechanics are oh, really lovely. They have given us free breakfast. And now to the vets to get her tapeworm pill. <laughs> she doesn't want to go in. I know, I know. Good girl! Yay! Oh, Let's no. go to England! Okay. <laughs> okay. First traffic jam of the journey. change the tyres on the car. We're going to put winter tyres on because we're not sure of the weather going through the Alps and it's probably the safest thing to do. The tyres need, ch need changing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Never arrive in the cave. We are finally on our way and it is already lunchtime so we're going to try and get to Milan tonight but we obviously have to find somewhere to stay and we need to get food as well because we haven't eaten anything yet. This is a tradition. Every time we go on a long car journey, we have to buy a packet of Grisbys. If you don't know what they are, Grisby. they are chocolate chocolate cookies and they're filled with liquid chocolate. And you can get them in all service stations in Italy along the motorway. <laughs> Very yummy. <laughs> Come on, wee wee time. We're nearly in Milan and there is snow on the ground. You're such a funny dog. Where are you pulling me? You want to go shopping, do you? We have got about two hours left to get to Milan um, and Carla doesn't like driving at night time, so it's my turn to drive. So I will see you when we get there. And there was light. 
so yeah, we've just arrived in Milan. It's a nine hour drive from Positano to Milan, but we had quite a few stops on the way. And um, now we're just gonna crash, sleep, and then we're gonna go early in the morning and start driving again. It is half past seven the next morning, and we are packing up to start our drive back. We've decided we are going to vomit all the way to Calais and jump on the um, train or bus or whatever it is that you get to England on. I think we're going on the train. Um, and um, yeah, we're, just, we're not going to stop anywhere because we've got plenty of, loads of things to do in England and we should have been there already. So we're just going to bomb it straight through today. Mi piace questa festa che and as you can see it's a little bit foggy this morning Carlo reckons that the car is making a funny noise. Hopefully it will get us to Calais and a little bit further. I just want to say a big thank you to my dad for giving us the de-ice spray last year because without this we would have had to wait an extra half hour this morning. What are you doing? Get back in the car! It is minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. We have decided that we are going to go through Switzerland um, because it is about seven minutes shorter than going round France and through Mont Blanc um, and it's just a nice ah, route. Sort of <laughs> Polly? Hello Olipo! Hello Olipo! So we've decided we're going to go through Switzerland. Um, it's about seven minutes shorter but it's a nice route. Um, and we're trying to get out of the hotel at the moment. Right, so we've just arrived in Switzerland at the border. We've had to stop and pick up our vignette, which you have to have in your car in Switzerland, um, and they will check and stop you. This is now valid until January 2020, and I have to stick it on the windscreen, and we also have to turn off the... Rallentamento di 8 minuti su 2 a 5 km. Shut up. Ti trovi ancora sul percorso migliore. We have to turn off the data on our. We have to turn off the data on our phone, otherwise, because Switzerland is not part of Europe, and it will eat all of our credit up. So we'll do that now. There we go. Stuck next to the last one. So we left the hotel at about three minutes to eight. It is now 21 minutes past eight, and we are, we're in Switzerland. That's how close Switzerland is to Milan. I don't think we quite realised that, but actually Milan is closer to Switzerland than um, Positano is to Piano di Salento, where we do our shopping. film later on in the afternoon we were so tired it was it was a 21 hour drive and we only stopped for a few hours to sleep overnight in Milan and then we came straight through and it was pretty exhausting but anyhow we got back last night I did actually film it on my phone which I put on Instagram story so I'm going to insert that here and uh, we will see you in the next few days for some adventures in England Then the 
that boy, sir. Would you like to go say hello to Grandad? Come on, it's raining. Is that good? Is that good? Stretch your legs. Stretch your legs. Yes. <laughs> hello, Hello, Ricardo. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness.